At least 30 NATO peacekeepers have been injured as tensions flare in northern Kosovo. Violence erupted as Serbian protesters tried to block newly elected Albanian mayors from taking office. Tear gas and stun grenades can be seen being used to deter protesters as they try and storm a government building. Kosovo declared independence from Serbia in 2008 after years of strained relations. However, its statehood has never been recognized by Serbia nor its Serbian inhabitants. While ethnic Albanians make up more than 90% of Kosovo's population, Serbs form the majority in its northern region. The SNAP local elections called last month were largely boycotted by ethnic Serbs in four northern regions. Unrest escalated as ethnic Albanian candidates won the polls as a result of a less than 4% turnout. The Serbian president has said 52 Serbians have been hospitalized as a result of clashes. He urged people to refrain from violence, claiming it might fulfill Kosovo's leaders' desire to bring about a conflict between the Serbs and NATO. The Serbian military has also been put on the highest level combat alert and stationed on the border. In a tweet, Kosovo's president has accused the Serbian president of attempts to destabilize the country. The US and EU have been stepping up efforts to resolve the escalating tensions. It comes after fears it could disrupt a recent EU-brokered stability deal within the region.